Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll see how to use the tools that are provided with the man in the middle framework. So first of all, if I just open my terminal and type man in the middle framework and help, then you'll see all of the tools that are available with this man in the middle. You can see we can inject the keylogger. We can just take the screenshot. We can just do something that is screenshot over here and you can see we can inject the js url so let's see how we can inject the js url we are not going to talk about the beef framework over here but if i just open the beef you will see this terminal will be opened and the beef framework about the beef framework will be covered in the upcoming lecture where we'll have the complete section but in this lecture i am going to only show you about how to inject this url with the help of man in the middle so it is beef and the password over here will be also beef so our beef framework is up and running so you could see we have this url over here which is the script url so that means you can use which is let me just make this a bit bigger then you could see over here we can use uh, this inject method so we'll inject the url with the help of this man in the middle so let's start there so first of all as always we'll start with the man in the middle framework and let me just clear this first and I'll just say man in the middle framework and we are doing ARP spoofing so it is ARP spoof and after that I'll just add the gateway as before so it will be gateway and here it will be 192.168.1.1 and after that we'll just add the targets so I want to uh, inject this JS URL to this machine that means I have to get the machines uh, that is ip address so let's get that so 192.168.1. so the ip address is right here which is 14. so its ip address let's make sure that it is 14 ip config and it is surely a 14. so after that you have to now give the interface and in this case it is wlan 0. so after that what i want to do is inject that js url so it is the payload or basically this is the argument that is going to inject so i'll just say http and you could see uh, the url is right here so when i just open that b framework it is giving us this url so this is the url http and uh, now it will be ip address of this kali machine and after that we'll have this 3000 port which you can directly see over here and here we have this hook dot js file stored so what we are doing is we are just injecting this js code in this target or in this machine which is our window machine so instead of ip here it should be ip address of kali machine so let's source or basically let's get that ip address i have config and you can see this is ip address of kali machine let's go over here and let's change this so it is 192.168.1.12 so if i now run this then it is going to inject our this okay we have here that is interface and interface is showing us error because we just missed out here one dash so let's go and let's add one more dash in this spoof and let's hit enter our man in the middle will be running and now it is running so you could see clearly our man in the middle framework is up and running and if i just go to the browser then you could see the beep framework is also running so now let's go to this machine which is our window machine and let's uh, solve that ip addresses or let's go to that ip addresses of kali machine which is this 192.168.1.12 let's hit enter and it is going to give us this welcome to hacker world and this is basically where we have inject our payload so now our server is up and running but before that we have to also inject this url which is right here in our script so let's go the place where our server is up and running so it should be in this root and in this var www it is inside this html so you could see the index.html page so now what i need to do is just uh, give this basically i want to edit this file 
so let's open the terminal here nano and index dot html and if i hit enter this is the file and you could see that we have now injected this source is 192.168.1.11 but now what i want is i'll just remove everything from here let's go over here so instead of you could see that what you need to do is you'll just capture this url which is rightly given over here so let's go back and where is that terminal so it is right here so while opening this beep you'll just get this terminal and it has this script so all you need to do is simply copy that and get back to here and you can just open that terminal where we have this opened here so we'll just write the ip address now of kali machine so the ip address of kali machine is 192.168.1.12 where we have this port where our hook.js file is stored so after you put this script in our index.html you have to save it just press ctrl o to save just press enter and ctrl x to exit now our index.html is ready that means we have now injected this into the file now whoever opens that web server or basically whoever opens that website which is index.html it is going to inject this hook.js to that url using this man in the middle framework so you could clearly see we have now injected this url to that website or basically to the website index.html is our web server and in that website we have seen how to inject with the help of man in the middle framework we have this uh, that is js url which is the argument that is responsible to do that so let's uh, go to our msh and if you see that first of all you have to run the web server and after you run the web server you will just have to just go to this link or basically the ip address of the kali machine which is 192.168.1.12 in my case you can confirm it by using if config so let's uh, confirm that if config so after that what you need to do is go back to our server or basically to go back to our client just press that ip addresses you can confirm the ip addresses so the ip addresses is right here 192.168.1.12 which is the ip addresses of this kali machine and if i just hit enter it is going to render the page which is welcome to hacker world which was the content of index.html and let's go back to our kali machine and let's open this firefox then you could see we have now online browser so this is the same browser which is the firefox which is over here so now you can inject all of the command we'll see all in detail in the upcoming lecture but for now let me just say that i want the redirection and if i just redirect i'll just say redirect the browser and i'll just redirect it to maybe okay i want to redirect it to twitter twitter.com so let's execute this command let's go back to firefox then it will have now the redirection that is to the twitter.com so you could clearly see we have now injected that payload which was done and okay why i just try to close it so let's close this down and let's get what we have done here so we use man in the middle framework to inject that hook.js using the js url into this target now we can run any command that is provided by the hook in order to just perform that operation you have to use this man in the middle framework so this is importance of the man in the middle framework you can use so much of tools over here let's uh, do some more so let me just uh, close this one because we don't need any more and uh, now next is i want maybe the screenshot so if i want the screenshot it is man in the middle framework and if i just go to the help you will just get everything that is needed now we have seen how we can just inject the js url with the help of man in the middle framework let's see what else we can do so i'm just saying that man in the middle framework and help and you could see we have so many options so we have these options to spoof obviously and the next is to take the screenshot so let's see for the screenshot so it is the same command so man in the middle framework arp spoof after that you have to just pass the gateway first and the gateway 
will be 192.168.1. One dot it is one and after the targets and in my case it is targets and target is 192.168.1.14 after that we have to specify the interface which is wlan0 and after that you have to pass the screen so you could see it is the screen command and there should be the seconds you want to just capture the screen so if you don't pass anything over here it is default as a 10 second so if you hit enter you will just grab the screen logs of the client but there is another that is the key logger which is very interesting so let's see first that so after you just get that um, that is same command till here because we didn't have to do anything till now because it is the same command for the man in the middle framework only difference will be your argument that you passed after this interface so in this case i want a js key logger and okay it is all in lower case js key logger and let's see if this is the actual argument i am confused over here yes it is js key logger and it will just load that key logger to our website so let's hit enter and our man in the middle framework is running so let's go over here and uh, let's uh, search for these websites and let's go back to the Kali machine. So the error was because of uh, the different uh, client machines. So I just uh, mistakenly tested on the real uh, OMS windows. We have to test on the virtual box and uh, in here, if you see, if I just pass test psv.vln then it is showing that it is ms edge and basically it is window machine over here and let's go here and uh, let me just put here something else so if i say maybe okay what if i just uh, do something like if i say hey if i just press go then you will see that there will be the post and let's go here so where is the post so it has not been the post here is nothing to show let's go and change the setting first so what i'm going to do is go to the network connect network adapter or let's go over here and in the settings i'll just go to the network and i'll just say nat network let's press ok let's go back here and now what I need to do is launch again this. Let's see if this has, okay, we are just back to the Firefox or original over here. And now if I say, hey, it should capture that key logger. And now, okay, it has not captured. So there might be something. Let's go to your profile. And it has not captured anything yet because we have not written anything so i'll just say username and uh, something like username and let's press login but this is the key logger that means it has to capture something but it is just giving us this attribute error because of the network connection it is only showing us this client operation so this might be error because of the network adapter that we are connecting from the virtual box and on the original hooking function so that might be one error we'll just rectify it and show you in the next lecture see you in the next one